and now show you something really cool. Motion control with the Unleashed and Black Forest motion controllers. Start the Pine app to set up your motion before you connect uh, with the Unleashed. Set up your motors, then start a time lapse where you can set a starting frame and end frame and, um, and set any more keyframes if you prefer. Choose the number of photos and most importantly, instead of interval, choose slave mode. This way the Unleashed can tell the Pine controller when to do the next move. Now hit start and with the Pine 2, you don't even have to disconnect anymore because the Pine 2 supports multiple Bluetooth connections. So just switch to the Unleashed app, where you can then go to Unleashed settings, under accessories, you can pair the Pine controller. Once it's turquoise, you can go back to your time-lapse screen, set it up as usual and hit start. The Unleashed tells the Pine controller that it can move as soon as each exposure is done. It doesn't matter how long the exposure is or if it changes over the course of a time-lapse, for example, during Holy Grail time-lapses. The Unleashed will actually only tell the Pine controller to move when the shutter is closed again. So you'll never have any movement during an exposure and you'll have the maximal time between the movement and the next exposure. That reduces vibrations to the minimum. You can switch back to the Pine app to see the progress. And what's really cool, you can disconnect, you can kill the app, the Unleashed app, you can close the Pine app, and the Unleashed will keep triggering the camera and will keep telling the Pine controller to do the motion. Pretty cool, eh?